Hey YouTube, thought I'd do an update on the 125 gallon reef tank behind me. It's been several months and uh, just thought it was time to do a do an update and let you know how things are going. Uh, appreciate everybody that watches these videos. If you're new to this channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Give the video a like. Um, and if you're interested at all in purchasing fish food, um, aquarium related products, check out my website, aquaticsupportsystems.com. I'd sure appreciate it. Let's uh, let's get on with the update. All right, so this is, like I said in the intro, a 125 gallon reef tank. Um, it's been rolling for about a, two and a half years now. <clears throat> Although I would say a lot of the fish and corals are not nearly that old, most of them to be exact. Um, I've kind of renovated it over time <clears throat> due to some losses and changes in what I want and things like that. But I'm just gonna take you through the entire tank, all the fish and all the corals and kind of show you what, what we got going. Um, you see that wrasse there, that's a orange belly. He's one of my favorite wrasses. Got some antheus right there and you can see some uh, snowflake clown fish or at least one of them. The other one's on the other side of the tank. Got a little colony of uh, green star polyps right there. And then this island, I've got kind of a two island set up as far as the aquascape goes. This is more of the SPS um, island uh, where I keep uh, the stick corals, which is something, you know, I've had in the past, but um, never had much success with. So I'm giving it another shot and so far so good. I do admit that I've gotten some more easier to keep SPS corals, but at the same time, it's working out pretty good. Some of them I know what they are, some of them I don't, so you have to excuse me. But this right here is a green slimer and then a bird's nest. Then these other ones here, um, the kind of pinkish reddish one is a digi. I don't know what these other two bigger ones are and this one that's more of kind of, to me I call it a, a bush almost right here. Uh, leave comments below and let me know what these are if you, if you do know what they are. And then I've got some uh, trumpet corals that are just, they haven't been doing good for several, several months now, but they don't seem to die off. They don't seem to open. Uh, anybody, if you have uh, suggestions on that, let me know. Um, and this is a, some sort of an encrusting coral and then another digi back there. Um, as you can see in the middle, I've got a Monty kind of, uh, Monty cat type coral that I've actually glued to a frag rack, a magnetic frag rack, and it's there. And I've done the same thing over here. And then on the other side, I'll show you that as well. Um, you can see a few more of the fish, uh, fish here. That's a yellow chorus wrasse, my uh, hippo tang, uh, melanaris wrasse. Uh, I always forget the name of this goby. He's a huge pain in the butt because <clears throat> he aquascapes this entire tank all the time. Uh, sailfin tang, magnificent foxfish, uh, yellow tang, um, just, to, just to name a few. Um, so over here, this kind of little island area, somewhere in here there's a six line wrasse too. And then I've also got a watchman goby. But uh, this little aquascaped island is more of the softy LPS area. <clears throat> I uh, got a, uh, uh, a hammer right there that's doing pretty good. Um, a torch coral that after, this one if you remember, this one's been around a while. This used to be over here and it was just too close to the flow. Now it's starting to do quite a bit better now that it's over here. I've got a, um, uh, sorry about the flare from the window there, but over in that corner is a, is a, uh, blanking on the name, a gyre, and it was just too close to it. You can see another hammer up there, this this type of a leather right here, and I've got a couple different types of frog spawn right there. Another real big frog spawn up here that's just doing real well. It's really thriving and uh, really dig it. Then we've got um, some zoas, some more zoas here, a little piece over there. Most of these, I don't know names. I just haven't chose to do a lot of research and write things down and stuff like that when it comes to the, the names of certain corals. I'm a freshwater guy at heart, or that's my history at least. And so 
I'm still learning coral and saltwater stuff, even though I've been keeping it now for about five years. That's the uh, yellow tang kind of hiding there. So uh, some more Monte Cap type corals over in this corner that I've just attached to the uh, overflow area and that type of thing. See if we can get some better looks at some of the fish. That sail fin, I love it when he when his fins are up. Kind of a little close to the tank, so it's freaking some of them out. <clears throat> close up with this goby. Uh, the yellow watchman goby. Let me see if I can get him. He comes out of this hole right here, this little cave. There's another one of the clownfish back there. I'm gonna go ahead and step back a little and see if I can get the fish to be a little less shy. <clears throat> Just kind of see what we can come up with. So anyway, um, this tank I've I've had some struggles with over time. Knock on wood, but right now is um, it's been at its best for me. Um, it seems to be fairly stable. I'm not having coral losses. One of the things I think I'm attributing it to is that I switched salt. I had been using Salinity um, by uh, Aqua Vitro um, for my entire first like four and a half to five years of reefing. And recently I switched over to Tropic Moran, the pro reefer or whatever you call it. I mean, this sounds weird, but people told me that they noticed the difference when they switched and I really did. Like. Within the first 24 hours, I noticed uh, polyp extension on some of the corals that I hadn't seen before, and since then things have just seemed to be working out better. Um, I can't prove anything, but it just seems like it's been a, a, a game changer for me. And it, it, I'm not saying that it's just that type of salt, it could have been that the salinity just wasn't very good. Um, I don't know what kind of errors I could have been potentially making with it. Um, there's probably tons of other good salts out there, but I'm as long as things keep going on autopilot for me with this salt, I'm gonna, gonna you know go ahead and stick with it. See if we can zoom in a little on a few of these fish and that type of thing. I really dig that uh, magnificent fox fish that you're or fox face. I always forget what it is that you're looking at right there. The hippo's been doing real good lately. Um, there's a scopius in there as well. Tang, there he is. He's just always been picked on and beat up, and he's got permanent fin damage. Um, I also had a chocolate tang in here that was really nice. It was one of those chocolates that basically looks yellow, and. For whatever reason, he just did not make it. He wasn't getting picked on or anything, but he didn't survive more than a couple weeks, which I've been finding is not all that uncommon when you introduce new new saltwater fish to a to a system. Um, I don't know if it's I don't know what it is, but at any rate, it's not the first time that's happened to me. So I think what I'll do here to end the video is um, just put in some nori on the, on the little magnetic clip right there and then um, let you guys watch these guys go crazy on some nori. All right, so I got a, about a half a sheet of nori on the clip here and all the tangs and some of the other fish are gonna have some fun with it, but they, they just love this and they just like to go crazy and devour it. So it's kind of fun to watch. Thought you guys might enjoy it. If you're into saltwater fish, it's nothing new to you, but it's always kind of fun to kind of do a feeding type of a situation. Another food that I feed these guys is Southern Delight Marine Mix, and I do sell that on my website if you uh, are interested in trying it. It's, I've found to be one of the best saltwater foods out there. I've fed Southern Delight fish food for years with my freshwater tanks, uh, my cichlids and stuff like that. And uh, the fact that they've got a marine formula too is, is really cool. So um, keep that in mind if you're interested at all. And then I also do feed some frozen foods, uh, LRS, uh, 
bites of shrimp, things like that, that I just pick up at my local fish store. Well, with that, I think I'll cut the video off here, guys. Uh, again, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, I'd sure like to uh, gain your uh, gain you as a subscriber. Hit that subscribe button. Click the like button. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what uh, fish and what coral are your favorite in this tank. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.